On this episode, we're going to talk about some sweet pants that Rain and I found for riding. Fall is approaching yet again. This past year, Texas had the biggest winter storm in over 60 years. Not exactly shorts weather. We've been on the hunt for decent riding pants for a long time. Pants are freaking expensive, and here in Texas, I might only wear them like once or twice a year. So we developed a criteria for a decent pair of pants. Unisex. Some brands only offer men's pants. On rain, the waist would be too big, and if she orders kids' pants, they're too short. Pads have to fit under the pants. I'm sorry, I'm not trying to look like I'm showing up to install some carpet, or like I just bought a pair of Fisher-Price roller skates. But we also don't want the pants to look like Jinkos when we're not wearing pads. Pockets. I always have stuff in my pockets when I ride. The Dekine shorts that I wear regularly have normal pockets where I put my keys, phone, and even use this zippered pocket for my wallet because I want to be identifiable if someone finds me dead on the trail. And I also don't want to get a bruised cheek from having it in my butt pocket. This is the biggest factor. Price. We've looked at Fox, 100%, Fly Racing, Royal Racing, and Endura. All of them are well over 100 bucks. I want something that's not going to break the bank if we decide to buy a few pairs. Then we remembered Hand Up. At 49 bucks a pop, these are a serious contender. I reached out to Hand Up and they sent us each a pair. We were not disappointed. So let's go through those bullet points again. Sizing. They fit great on both Rain and me. Their site has a sizing chart, and as long as you follow it, you'll get exactly what you need. Pads. So you can't wear the giant hard shell pads underneath, but my Cali strikes fit, and so do Rain's 7 IDP pads, albeit a little tight. Without the pads, you don't look like you have cankles or puffy knees. They're nice and stretchy. Pockets. While the hand-up pants don't have a lower side pocket for my wallet, the hip pockets do have zippers. My things fit in there for sure, but I've also taken to using my Fidlock for water on rides and using an actual fanny pack to keep my keys, wallet, and phone in. Price. At 50 bucks, it really comes in way under the other brands. But you get what you pay for, huh? Yeah. Usually, I agree. But these are well made. I wore them a lot last spring and summer while riding and just around town. They're still good. They're not pilled or faded. Rain really got me into Lululemon clothing in the past year and a half. And to be honest, these are in the same ballpark, but for less than half the price. And those are just the OG pants. Hand Up also sent me their new pair, the AT Plus pants. These are actually stretchier than the old ones, but as you can see, I can still fit my pads under comfortably as well as wear them around town. It still feels like summer here in Texas, and the new pair are definitely better at wicking and keeping you from feeling like you just peed your pants. If peeing your pants is cool, consider me Miles Davis. They're also less likely to get wrinkled after washing. And so I liked them and I reached out the hand up again and they gave me a code that y'all can use for 15% off any of their bottoms. It's no front breaks. Three dollar signs instead of S's on the end. And that code is good for shorts, jorts, pants, and bibs. Again, these pants are great for the price. They serve more than one function, and they're pretty stylish. I give them five out of five nubs, and I highly recommend them. So do yourself a favor and pick up a pair, get yourself out for a ride, and until next time, stay shreddy.